Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Old friends come in and move out of life, while new friends show up to fill the spaces left behind. We might not like it, but eventually everyone learns that nothing can escape change forever. No matter how fraught with danger it may seem, the lure of adventure cannot be denied. Sometimes the danger itself is the pull. Some heroes just want to be the one to discover the next ancient secret, to wield strange new powers. This new threat was more personal than any that had come before, and the fight for their lives shook the foundation of everything they thought possible. But in the end, the town was saved. The heroes had won the day, and everyone could believe for just one moment that maybe things really hadn't changed at all. And then, that moment passed. <laughs> Guess Jack's eye wasn't enough for it. I wish to speak with Jesse, the gauntlet bearer. What's going on? Where did it come from? Well, quit wishing, admin, because I'm right here. I know. That's why I was like looking right at you. Come, speak with me face to face. Oh boy. Admin? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Jesse? What's going on here? Gauntlet bearer? That is all rather suspicious, isn't it? No kidding. I don't like it. No, sir, I do not like it. Uh, everyone, everyone, hi. There's nothing to worry about. The giant prismarine colossus and I are gonna work this out and everything can get back to normal, I swear. Okay, so, an admin, a huge colossus in our door. I'm all right with not freaking out, yet. You're going to fix this, right, Jesse? You won't let it destroy Beacon Town, will you? If this is about the structure block, then I'll just give it back. Sure, hope you're right. <clears throat> I would like to proceed, Gauntlet Para. Do not test my patience. Guess you should get up there, Gauntlet Bearer. Clay, come in your way! Thanks, Nell. Perfect. Ah, there you are, Jesse. I loved what you did with the Witherstorm. Awesome stuff. Oh, 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 this is going to be perfect. You've got the knack. Why, yes, thanks for noticing. Seriously, you're a natural. That's why I left you the gauntlet. You left it? To tempt you down to the sea temple. But now, your true test begins. It is time you no! fight. Champion, unless you'd like to see that happen to your entire town. Who knows what I'll do next? <laughs> Enough talk, let's fight. Uh, hold on. Aha! Fighting in broad daylight is boring. Let's add some. 
drama. Oh, he's powerful. Oh, so much for them. <laughs> Just you and me now, champion. Don't let them down. <laughs> <laughs> not good, Jesse. Really not good. Beacon Town is gonna be like, like, one big smash fest to this guy. We need to help people. He's gonna break everything. Swords? Yeah. Who's gonna cut it? Ugh. What can we do? How about a bunch of obsidian walls? Structure block time. If you can cause a distraction, I can plant some of these guys. They'll help hold the city. One major distraction coming up. Go, Jesse! Hey, Stoneface! Over here! Yeah, that's right! Your courage is so much larger than your puny size. Ooh, let's see how you deal with the enchanted deliciousness of this butter! I could pick my teeth with that blade. <laughs> Take you down one block in a top! <laughs> A little intense, but I guess a giant colossus did follow me oh. home. Hide and seek is beneath you, Jesse. The champion should be better than this. Ah! If you're going to be a coward, Jesse, just give yourself up. back at the Sea Temple had the same symbol. Ah! Oh, there we are. All right, Evan, you want to fight? You got one. Here I am. <laughs> Looking a little helpless, champion. I'm using champion there sarcastically. Hey, Rockface! Eat this! Good to see you too. Yes. What is that? Quick version the admin. He, like, built the world or something. Uh, Kay. Are you alright? I mean, he really had you up there. Lucas, you just saved my life. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> I always wanted to ride into battle. <laughs> I sure hope you got an idea here. I saw a spot on the back of his head that I'm hoping might be the key to defeating him. You calm down. Sounds like I better keep him distracted then. Thanks, Lucas. Be careful. Come now, Jesse. All this stalling is just making me angrier. Hey, Lockhead! You want Jesse? You need to go through me first. And I don't think you stand a chance. Your 
protecting Jesse. Oh, please. All these interruptions are becoming annoying. That ends now. Let's see what you got. Yeah! I knew you'd come eventually. You don't know anything about me. <gasps> Where are you? Hey! Oh, I'm sorry. Sure would be a pity if. Oops. No! You're gonna wish you hadn't done that, Admin. Oh boy. Do you really no. think you can defeat me, Jess? I don't think. I know. <laughs> Confidence. The mark of a true hero. Really something. Stay behind me, Stampy! Ah, don't let the googly text me! Oh man, these are gonna keep coming in until we get the sun back up. Any idea how to use it? could be super dangerous. How sure are you that this admin guy is gone? I don't know. If we destroyed that huge thing and he's still alive, that's kind of scary. I don't know how much more Beacon Town can take. Someone should keep an eye on this thing. Yeah. I can take first watch. Actually... <clears throat> Actually... I'll volunteer. I want to help. Jesse, I'd say we both do it, but one of us should really get started on the repairs. It's a nice gesture, but maybe you should just let me handle it. Look, I promise. Then the minute I see anything out of the ordinary, I'm coming to get you as fast as my hustle sticks will carry me. I, my, uh, my legs. Come on, Jesse, I can do this. Jesse's left me in charge before. This is a whole new level, though. All right, Radar. I officially bequeath on you the title of Clockmaster. Thank you, Jesse. 
I solemnly promise to uphold the duties of Clockmaster and to only use my powers for good. What? Well, yeah, good. That's good. So what are you going to do now? I figured I'd start with Ruben's memorial. Got pretty trashed. Oh, man. Well, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. That admin just... No respect. I appreciate that. It feels pretty bad. We're gonna put the pieces back together, though. You'll see. And, um... <sighs> When I asked you what you're gonna do, I was actually talking about that glove of yours. So I gotta tell you, Jesse, this whole admin thing, it's... Well, it's very you, I guess, is what I'm saying. Well, I know you say you're trying to settle down and run Beacon Town, but... It just seems like you can't quit that life, you know? I mean, you don't exactly see Axel and Olivia getting mixed up in stuff like this. Well, maybe you're right. Well, today goes to show that the people will love you no matter what. I, uh... I didn't say any of that stuff to be mean. We've had a ton of adventures, and... I just want you to be happy. I mean, that's what that little pig wanted for all of us. Now go rebuild his monument. I promised Stampy and Stacy I'd help them get their houses fixed up. Sounds good. I'll see you later, Lucas. Okay. Let's see what we can do for you, buddy. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Righteous. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Oh, they... I'll just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. She should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. Well, it's not like it was my first battle against an impossible foe. Oh? Witherstorm. I'll get you the book. It's actually a pretty good read. I think I've got a copy back at the shop. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack, the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake, has been reduced to some uh, what, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <laughs> sure. What you should continue to keep just uh, talking about it for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Love theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, pos possible stuff. Were you even gonna tell me or were you just gonna sneak off? Of course I was gonna tell you. I was just working up to it. Slowly. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? It's impossible. This isn't a snow biome. The admin. 
The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. It was kind of cuddly, right? Hold up, that was your idea of fun? Uh, yeah. I mean, with the smashing and the punching and the crazy do-or-die plans to protect the little people. Oh, unbelievable. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes, you're perfect for my creations. Perfect. Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. <clears throat> your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night. Forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm going to get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is going to be epic. <laughs> you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Strays, pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember, find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, oh, we need to protect the people. Run! Hide everyone! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard, watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? I thought you were too scared to do things like this. I... I thought I was too. But I just feel like there are times when the little guy needs to step up. And well, maybe this is my time. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Is that 
everything gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nurm. Hmm. We're all counting on you! I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. I don't know. I mean, I thought he seemed sincere. Why set all this up if he wasn't going to really let us fix things? Yeah, well, color me skeptical. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know. Find myself? You didn't invite me. You didn't even tell me until I caught you. I... I thought you would be busy with all the rebuilding and everything. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? Your thing is that you help your friends. You're the best friend I've ever had, Petra. Yeah, I, I guess. And I feel the same way about you, of course. That llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yes, it is I. It's been some time since I've seen you, my nemesis. I've dreamt of challenging you again since our last confrontation. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. It wasn't me that did this, it was the admin. 
Huh, I don't know who this Adam is, but it seems awfully rude to pin it on him. No, admin. Ad Min. He's like. Oh, he's a big, giant, bad guy. Super powerful. Hmm. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world, too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the, the moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. Ugh. I know you said my thing was helping my friends, but I want the record to show she is not my friend. Just FYI. <laughs> You okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, found the clock. Perfect. But how are we gonna get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's gonna be, like, obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait. Do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Not all of the world is like that. Oh, Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. Oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it! If I remember correctly, Stella, I saw a certain someone pretending to be another certain someone, and she wasn't so good with a sword, either. Oh, really? You act so high and mighty, but you really are just a bully sometimes, you know that? Come on, Luna! <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed, and I can prove it. I can be different, braver. Yeah, you've definitely changed, Radar. It's always important to try and grow. Yeah, and I promise, I'll make you proud. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding? Oh boy, my favorite, mystery levers. Okay, what's going on? Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round. Don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. 
It's actually perfect, champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, hey? I am totally stoked. Are we uh, really sure what we're getting ourselves into? Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Well, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. People's lives are at stake here. Can't say I care for your attitude, but that's fine. You'll figure it out soon enough. Landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Wait, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. I know that it sounds amazing and that I want it. Oh, really? Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. What? Hey, that's cheating. Pretty sure the admin would frown on us using an advantage like Luna. The admin said it's about seeing how far we can go, so I'm going. Let's go, Luna. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, stating facts. All in this together, all right? No one's getting left behind here. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm going to go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. Oh, oh, wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead... Radar! They, they could just walk... Ah, sorry. Had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. There are a 
lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. That's it, Luna, Thank darling. You. She's got the clock sent! <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait! The admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. Going with them. Be safe, okay? Okay. Nice! Let's ride! strange woman and her llama go? No idea. I wanted to see if it really had the treasure-sniffing power she said it did. Guess we got a little separated during that crazy roller coaster ride. This place is nuts! Yeah, no kidding. I'm not complaining about last time with Stella, but I hope that we can find Radar and Lucas again after we get the clock. Anything could happen to them. Oh, don't worry. Those two will be fine. If you're sure. Well, I'm just psyched to have you with us, Jesse. Just like old times, right? Well, I'm guessing none of your old times had you up against a villain as powerful as the admin, though. That guy is crazy powerful. And just plain crazy. Ah, no kidding! He puts any of our old foes to shame! We beat him once already. Everyone has a weakness, Jack. Even the admin will find his. Uh, you could be right. Still not a reason to start getting sloppy now. Whew. Feels like the Sea Temple all over again. Yeah, I was feeling that too. Don't like it. I don't like anything this guy builds. Everything's decorated with dread. And garnished with doom. Hey guys, remember the Colossus? We beat that, we can do this too. Yeah, good point there, Jesse. We'll be fine, Jack! I hope. Oh, it is great to see you in here. You're my favorite group. True story. And I just know you're gonna demolish this room. It's simple. <laughs> All you need to do is find your way out. So we have to escape the room? I guess you could put it that way. You won't get any hints from me, though. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, right? I don't need your hints. This game will be over before it even gets started. See, now that's the kind of behavior I like to see in a champion. <laughs> Confident, cool under pressure. Oh, you'll go far. All right, it's time to get this proverbial party started. I am very excited to see how you do. Atros! Don't worry, they're right there. Now, 
Will you be able to get them back out is the question. <laughs> oh, you just can't stop putting me in cages, can you? Oh, you, you are a riot. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> Farewell now and uh, good luck. <laughs> Okay, escape time. Time to build. the ice, I get cursed. Some kind of mining fatigue, I think. I suppose this contraption holds some kind of clue. Any thoughts on how to get through the ice? Easy. I have a torch. Oh, huh. that's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? And it worked. Here you go, Jesse. These should help. What you got back there? I, I think it's supposed to be a cobweb, but half the blocks are missing. This clay should fill up the spots in the floor. All right, hold on. Are for you. Thanks. Man, now I just wish Lucas was with us too. Bummer that radar was being so ugh with. Come on, you, you think we can move this along? Time's a wasting. I mean, like literally, that clock is still up there. Hey, we're gonna get out of this, okay? I know. I just this place isn't exactly uh, my speed. By which I mean. It's too slow. I mean, I almost have this thing figured out. It's all in the planning. I just uh, gotta plan a little more. creepy stats you can get. Way to go, Jesse. I knew you'd figure it out. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you did all right. Of course, um, I had it figured out right from when we all walked into the room, but uh, uh, good job. Uh, but it's nice to see a newbie at work, though. You've never seen anything like this, Jack. There's no way you could have known the answer. Please, I, uh, the puzzle builders of Winding Ridge had puzzles like this all over the place. Couldn't walk through a door without building a statue. Right, Foss? You know, it's funny, but I don't seem to remember that particular adventure. Oh, God. 
guys? Everyone, run! Another puzzle! Jesse, we'll hold them off. Get that door open. On it. Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Ugh, who would fill a chest with spider eyes? Hmm, got nothing to craft with. Get us out of here! Glass, wood slabs, nether quartz? Yeah. Huh. That almost sounds like the recipe for a daylight sensor. But those only work if there's sunlight. Gotta be part of what unlocks the door, but what's missing? Let's see. Aha! It was for a daylight sensor. Are you... sure? Yeah, of course. Completely. I, uh, just need a sec to put the, uh, words together. Get us out of here, Jack. We'll be through this room in a single wag of a sheep's fluffy tail. What? I got it! Nice! Let you down, buddy. Again. We could have helped him. You could have saved him. Now he'll be trapped. Jack, you gotta believe me, it was impossible to save him. Sure, maybe. No! Oh, I just can't believe I lost him! Again! Jack, calm down. Lucas! Radar? Lucas, where's Radar? <sighs> the room. It was too much for us. I mean, there were arrows and snowballs flying everywhere. Jesse, I did the best I could, but... No, 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 no! No one deserves this. Not even Stella. She might be a bit stuck up and she doesn't really treat anyone that nicely, but... Radar needs us. Stella's been totally impossible, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't help her. Ugh, you have a point. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. This is all wrong, people, wrong! You're not supposed to help each other. The losers are supposed to lose. Like this guy. There is no way he would have made it out if you weren't giving him the intellectual assist. You should have just cut him loose. Jettison that baggage. I'm seeing someone like you held back by that? Oh, painful. I don't get you, Admin. If you didn't want people to succeed, then why build this place at all? You don't get it. I'm trying to separate the diamonds from the gravel here. Rubbish gets dumped. <laughs> If 
fine. You convince me. It's not often I give second chances. A one condition, though. Get off me, you gay! Oh, man. Not good! No! Not good! Ah! No! Let's see how our bucko does on his own, eh? What do you think the chances are? Without... Jeez. You... memory. This... this is impossible. The admin told us to go through his stupid challenge, but maybe we could find another way. Did anyone... Luna? If that llama can get to the other side of the wall, so can we. Yeah, we're never punching through that. Anyone got anything to make a pickaxe? I have some sticks. Three diamonds? That sounds like a diamond pickaxe to me. going up and our friends went up and that's where we're headed to uh hate to point out the obvious but we can't climb oh no Go for the 
o'clock, one of you come with me and Lucas to rescue the others. Guys, we're running out of time here. Jack, we need our best guy on that clock. You're him, buddy. Do it for Nerf. Right. But you better find Voss. We will. Be careful, okay? I train with the TNT jugglers of Christy Cove. Careful. It's the only way I know. Just, just 
coddled him every step of the way. Losers are supposed to lose, Jesse. Boss, friend, what are you doing? Why are you saying these things? No, nothing to say. Answer me! Boss, why are you acting this way? <laughs> Haven't you figured it out yet? You don't! He's the admin. Oh, you are a smart cookie, Jesse. Of course I am! Voss... The whole time? No, not the whole time, you nitwit! The real Voss would never have survived in my sea temple that long. I am disappointed, Jesse. You obviously just don't have what it takes to really be my friend. My partner. Such a pity. Such a waste. Are you serious? I would never be your friend. You're nuts! And you? <laughs> well, you are incredibly bold. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Admin, sir. I just wanted to say that I would love to be your partner. But you... lost. Technically, yes. But unlike them, I actually appreciate what you're offering. You don't say. Patella, I don't know if you've noticed, but what he's offering is absolutely crazy. You can't really mean this. No, but I do, Jesse. Jesse, I really appreciate you saving me. Love ya. Mean it. But you obviously don't understand the magnitude of what this... this Paragon is offering. Huh. Uh, Stella, was it? Yes, sir. See, she may not have the skills, but that is a terrific attitude. Your attitude, on the other hand? Oh, well. There's nothing that hurts more than broken hopes. I made this for you. Just for you. And how do you repay me? You cheated! How could you do this to me? Hey, we did exactly what you said, didn't we? We got your stupid clock. Nah, nope. You were more interested in saving those loser friends of yours. That practically negates all of the other stuff. I gave you so many chances! What? <laughs> it has no all been to waste. No, no! You might not be worthy! What? Technically, Jack here was the winner. Oh, don't get me wrong. There are quite a few flaws we'll have to work through, but we'll get there. In time? No! You can't! Ooh, Jack! Where did he go? Oh, don't even worry about it. It's not for a loser like you to worry about where the cool people go. Jack! No! <laughs> Shh! Like I said, not for you guys to worry about. Really are just hopeless! I'm done letting you make me feel bad. I prefer to feel good. And I'm gonna feel real good when I send you two to a place where you'll never see the light of day. Ever again. No! Thank you.
must be a special class of trouble to end up here. The admin. Well, this is where he sends the people who he has special plans for. You may have noticed, it's not a very nice place. And the people? Well, they're not very nice either.